Let's talk about Bitcoin. You uh, early on, I don't know, 2012, 2013, seemed to be a proponent. Then you kind of soured on it. Where are you now? Are we a proponent? Not so, a proponent? How do you think about it? I, I, I do own a small amount of Bitcoin. And the reason I did it was I was teaching. I, I'm a guest lecturer at Harvard, MIT, Notre Dame, Temple, Waterloo, McGill. I teach graduating cohorts of engineers. And at my last Harvard meeting um, re regarding this sector, the, the class challenged me to buy not just Bitcoin, but just get involved in cryptocurrency. Because their argument was, look, if you're, I have a 5% weighting in gold. Each quarter, I have bullion, which I store, and I pay to store it. And I also use ETFs to balance each quarter to up or down to 5%. And it's been a good stabilizer against uh, you know, inflation. And it's, you've seen gold set a big move lately, being concerned about inflation. So is Bitcoin. But Bitcoin was originally sold to me as a counterbalance to the equity market. In other words, it would move in a different direction. So if you had a big correction in the stock market, so theoretically, Bitcoin would go the other way and it would protect your assets. That's not true. It has a very heavy correlation to the stock market. It too achieves new highs when the market achieves new highs. And when the market's correct, it too corrects. So it's very volatile. You saw it dip 3,000 bucks last week. It's back up over 18 today. It's moving all around the place. So I would argue it's fair enough. I have a couple of questions for you to answer and everybody that's listening. Why is it that only one cryptocurrency gets this designation? Bitcoin, because if you bought a basket of cryptocurrencies two years ago, and there's many, many, many of them, you haven't made a lot of money. There's simply nothing like Bitcoin. And so it's the only one. And that's a little perverse in the sense, if you look at the stock market, it's not the stock market, it's a market of stocks. There's many different ones you can buy, but you can't seem to play that game in the crypto space. You have to be very concentrated to get these returns in one cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. That bothers me a little bit. Okay. On the so, other so hand- on, Wait, let, let's talk about that for one second. So if you think of an economy, right? Take the U.S. economy, for example. There's only one currency, right? The U.S. dollar. If you think of euro, right? There's one currency that is the nation state currency or kind of the selected currency, right? And if you kind of go to the global economy, right? There's really the global reserve currency, which is the dollar. And kind of each micro economy has their own currency. If you think of uh, kind of the digital economy, right? you talked a lot about digitizing the world, the digital economy doesn't have a native currency, right? So if you were talking to somebody like a Jack Dorsey and ask him, why is he so bullish on Bitcoin? What he would actually say is the first native currency of the internet or the digital world is Bitcoin. 